This is a review in the Marvel Universe box set, West Coast Avengers. And it's a, you could see the artwork here in the corner. It looks pretty good. It's the back of the packaging here. This is the West Coast Avengers box set out of the package. It's kind of disappointing for those who already have two of the three figures. Hawkeye here is just a reuse from the Secret Wars 2 pack that had Pile Driver, and War Machine is a repaint from the Iron Man 2 wave. And the only new character here is, in fact, Mockingbird. And with that said, I wanted to set because I was a fan of the West Coast Avengers and of the 80s and early 90s team, and Mockingbird was a great character. They got rid of her for almost a decade, but thankfully they brought the character back in recent years. But the only way you're gonna get that figure is in this box set. I'll just talk a little bit about the team here. Hawkeye, as you know, is a long-standing member of the Avengers. And uh, he started out as a bad guy fighting Iron Man. But eventually, uh, he joined the Avengers when Captain America recruited him. And uh, what you might not know is Mockingbird and him were in a relationship. And so, they're a couple. And what's surprising here is, even though the Iron Man 2 War Machine is really good, and they used like a shiny black paint application here, and instead of gray, it's sort of like a shiny white, or even like metal type of color. It's a different color, this War Machine. I didn't think it would be as good as the Iron Man 2 War Machine, but... I don't know, something about it in its own way, the color format they used here also looks pretty good. I really can't say which is the better version of the two, Iron Man 2 and those paint applications or this one. This one has a lot going for it as well. It has these two things here, which are attachments. This is like a triple missile thing and this is like a firing type of cannon. You can put these up here, or you could uh, put it down there. The shoulder pads, they flip up. You could see the sculpt detailing here in this Iron Man 2 line, where this was originally from. Just a ton of detail at this scale. Look at this. This is all sculpting here, unique. The weapons here. The gauntlet with a... Weapons there. All of this is a unique sculpt. I know Hasbro likes to reuse parts, but this war machine, I don't think they recycle too much from this character in terms of making it other molds. Right here, it's all sculpting. But it is a reuse from the Iron Man 2 wave. If you have that one, you really don't need this one. Articulation goes side to side and not really up or down, but look at that head sculpt really nicely done The shoulders side to side and up or down It has one point of articulation at the elbow and you can spin it around Same thing here one point and you can spin that This one the wrist closed fist you can spin it here this one an open hand you can spin it upper body here it's Really tight articulation, but side to side. Nothing at the waist. Uh, the hips here, ball jointed, side to side. Uh, can go up or down. And articulation cut at the top. It has double knees. But nothing here. And the feet, you can go side to side a little. And up and down a little bit. Not too much feet articulation. And that's War Machine. It's a repaint, but it looks pretty good. Hawkeye, though, I think the colors look the same as the two-pack. Uh, a lot of people missed the two-pack. Maybe that's why they put this character in here again. Really not necessary at all, in my opinion. And if you got the Secret Wars two-pack, then this one you don't need. You can see that it's sort of like a smirk he has. He has an arrow bag here that... It's all just like that. You can't take it out. He has a bow here. He has one arrow 
which uh, I have like a clear band so we could kind of hold it. It's a different unique hand sculpt here and this is sculpt detail here. This is an open grip to hold the bow. You could see the straps here in terms of the detailing. It's a separate piece. It's this classic costume. Articulation side to side and not really too much up and down. This uh, strap is really high up because to the neck area would have been nice if they had just a little more space so it wasn't so high up like that shoulders side to side up and down now you could spin it here that's one point of articulation at the elbow and the wrist you can spin it upper body here and you can go side to side no waist articulation but the hips side to side up and down double knees boot articulation right there and the feet up and down only this is one of Hasbro's uh, older molds that they've used and they have increased articulation since then and Mockingbird maybe the real reason to get the set looks like a classic costume which is nice a unique head sculpt here blonde hair you can see it's going right over the shoulders there it's a nice basic costume of black and white and she has these stick weapons which she did use in the comics they're actually reused daredevil parts and if you got the daredevil bullseye 2 pack it's the same part you can combine it into one item if you want but oddly she has no place to store a weapon on her costume the grip here is an open grip and she can hold both weapons at the same time and the articulation not too much you're gonna get other than side to side because the hair sculpt does get in the way shoulders side to side up and down one point of articulation at the elbow you can spin the wrist upper body here up or down side to side and waist articulation hips side to side up or down double knees nothing here you think you could have articulation here but there is none but the feet here can spin and go up or down overall it's a good interpretation of the character and probably the only chance you're going to get of getting Mockingbird in the Marvel Universe scale. So that's the West Coast Avengers box set review. The only unique piece here is the one in the middle, Mockingbird. Uh, War Machine, it is a nice repainting colors. If you didn't have that one, this one is really good. And you probably don't need that first edition. And again, Hawkeye, he was part of the two-pack, but a lot of people didn't get it back then. I would say if you don't have two of the three characters, then get this box set. But unless you're a real fan and you want Mockingbird, then you don't want the box set if you're going to pay for three figures and you only want one. And if you have none of these characters, then I would definitely recommend getting this box set to help complete a West Coast Avengers team and just get some more members for that team, and it would be really nice. So that's the review, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, you won't believe it, but the West Coast Avengers have been shut down and cancelled. I know. That totally sucks, right? We need our own book back, Marvel Comics. Make it happen. Let the West Coast Avengers return to greatness where they belong.